Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin encouraging you to run with endurance the race that God has set before you. It's Thursday, June the 15th. Have you ever been so focused on accomplishing some, uh, some task that you completely missed out on the opportunity to build somebody else up or encourage somebody else? I can't tell you uh, how many times I have been guilty of that through the years in an effort to do something that I thought was was good I ended up missing out on on potentially God's best in my life and it's one of the reasons why I was so encouraged uh, when I read about Paul in Acts chapter 16 Luke writes about him that Paul came also to Derby and to Lystra. A disciple was there named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the brothers at Lystra and Iconium. And Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him. He took him and circumcised him because of the Jews who were in those places, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. And as they went on their way through the cities, they delivered to them for observance the decisions that had been reached by the apostles and elders who were in Jerusalem. And so the churches were strengthened in the faith, and they increased in numbers daily. So I was thinking about that uh, today, and uh, just uh, to encourage you, hopefully to not not uh, fall prey to the same kinds of mistakes that I, I have made, made through the years. Uh, the first one is this, to be intentional about commending people to others. Uh, one of the things that caught Paul's attention about Timothy is how highly he was spoken of by other believers uh, in that area. So make it a habit of commending people to others. Second, don't be so focused on accomplishing the task before you that you actually miss out on these divine appointments that God has scheduled for you along your, your journey. Uh, a third thought I had was that connecting with people doesn't mean that adjustments won't need to be made. Paul understood that if Timothy was going to go with him and, and not become an obstacle or an impediment to the mission that God had given him, that some things needed to be changed in Timothy's life. So be wise in your connections. Uh, the fourth thing I see in this encounter is how important it is for us to plan our work and then work our plan. Uh, Paul had been given a task by the leaders in Jerusalem to go and and share the decision that had been made about Gentile believers. And so he had a plan for how that mission would be accomplished, and then he was, he was faithful in, in moving forward and accomplishing that, that mission. So let's make sure that we, that we are intentional about planning the work that we believe God's calling us to, and then, and then simply moving forward intentionally to work that plan. And then finally, uh, just a note to encourage you, let's, let's focus on, on building other people up in, in their faith. Uh, because even as Paul uh, went around passing along that message, that decision, uh, the end result was the churches he visited, they were strengthened and they continued, uh, they continued to grow. So here's the question of the day for us. Who spoke well of you? to others that actually opened up an opportunity. Uh, maybe there's somebody you're thinking about right now that if it wasn't for that person and the good word they put in for you, you'd have missed out on a great opportunity in your life. Who was that? Who do you need to be thanking God for today? Let me pray for us. <clears throat> Father, uh, you know how easy it is for us to get uh, so fixated on accomplishing uh, the task that you have set before us that we miss out on maybe the most and the most important mission you've given us and that's making a difference uh, in the lives of others as we represent you and as we share the good news about Jesus so 
uh, help us to keep our eyes open for those divine appointments and uh, to realize that it's it's the difference that we make in other people's lives that's that's gonna that's what's gonna make a, a real impact in eternity and that's that's our desire and that's my prayer for us this day in Jesus name Amen. Well, Summer Bible Adventure is our largest outreach effort of the year and uh, I, I gotta tell you you're gonna be blown away uh, by the preparation that's transpired to get ready uh, for next week uh, if you're part of our gathering Sunday and here's here's what I know though uh, you know there aren't any kids in our community that are going to drive themselves to summer Bible adventure uh, so let's get out there and uh, let, let's let's bring them in because they're gonna be super pumped when they see what we've got in store for them if you're on the Crystal Coast this weekend we'd love to see you in one of our worship gatherings uh, on Sunday. Uh, dads, uh, this is our day, so let's make the most of honoring God with it. We got a special treat uh, for you when you come, and in the meantime, let me encourage you, enjoy the journey God has you on for His glory.